Eu não sei se tem amor de paternidade. Uh, that was pretty tough for my mom and my family to take. So I kind of felt like I had let them down. And now with uh, graduating the program and complying with all the different things that we have to do, uh, I feel like I've accomplished something. It's been a long time since I felt that way. What I heard from him is he accepted that. He didn't make excuses, he didn't blame others. Um, he accepted what he needed to do just to be successful in the program. So that's the sort of thing for you. Congratulations. Also, we would like to thank Trips Harley Davidson for providing us with this wonderful facility. Uh, and also, I'd like to thank the Underwood Law Firm who uh, donated their uh, lawyers and, and uh, their cooker out here to fix the wonderful hamburgers and hot dogs that we enjoy. So, thank you to all of you. We uh, came up from Clovis. Uh, winds were blowing 60 miles an hour when I left Clovis. Met up with the group in Tucumcari at the convention center. Um, we had, I can't remember, about 10 or 12 riders that came over from Tucumcari and uh, here to Amarillo and braved the winds. Uh, and even though it was a tough ride, it's uh, nothing compared to the tough road that these um, folks have when they're going through their recovery and, and participating in drug courts. And it's such a wonderful cause. Because it's a historic thing. This is awesome. Riding across the United States of America, I had to be a part of that when it's so close. John is a great drug court judge here in Amarillo. I know he's done a lot of work to promote this, and I had to come up and support John. I think the first one I ever saw, I had gone to the National Judicial College in Reno, and that one of our sessions was on specialty courts, and they took us to a drug court, and I, I remember the the impact it had on me. I was sitting out in the audience and I really didn't know much about drug courts and there was a, a girl that was a participant and she had just got her certificate to be a paralegal. And I just remember how excited she was and she just couldn't wait to get up in front of that judge and show him that certificate. And it just, it just dawned on me, you know, how as a judge you don't think in terms of the traditional role, uh, how you can step outside that and really touch people's lives in a positive way and that was the first time I'd ever seen that and it just was exciting to me and so I, I looked into it further and eventually we were able to start one here.